High speed police chases can sometimes lead to innocent lives being lost as a result. The new police chase task force at the state capitol was put together after a high speed pursuit covering multiple parishes resulted in the killing of two teenage girls. Here's Chris Rosado. Well, it was an introductory meeting with more scheduled to happen before the next regular legislative session. The purpose of all of this is to come up with better solutions for these chases that spare innocent lives. I should be walking my child across the field as a homecoming court member tonight, and I'm instead here today. The parents of 17-year-old Maggie Dunn and 15-year-old Caroline Gill were at the center of today's discussion. The holes left in their hearts have left them determined to make sure no other parent feels their pain. 100% uh, pro-law enforcement. I am not anti-police. I don't want to handcuff any law enforcement from doing the job that we expect them to do. I do expect them to be held accountable. This new task force formed by Republican Senator Caleb Klein-Peter from Port Allen aims to come up with new strategies to respond to vehicle pursuits while also keeping the public safe and informed and also look at what should require a police chase in the future. I think we have a systematic uh, problem with, uh, with the way uh, these police chases are handled. Um, I just think that there's no uh, oversight. Through their talks, it was noted that each police department goes about reporting these type of high-speed pursuits differently, and a more efficient, consistent way is needed for all departments to follow moving forward. There's different reporting systems, and then some of them are not reported, so we don't know what the true crashes are out there. Um, training is a big thing for everybody. Um, everybody in the room is huge supporter of law enforcement. We, we do not want to tie law enforcement's hands, but it uh, seems like the training is the big uh, part that's on everybody's mind. Several ideas were laid out as potential solutions, such as funding for an app that would alert your phone and let you know if you are near a police unit that's involved in one of these chases. Kind of like an uh, Amber Alert, if you're in the vicinity uh, using GIS, um, it'll go to your phone or radio to where uh, it'll alert you that there's a high speed pursuit. Uh, supervision. Um, so there's a lot of things that we're going to talk about, we're going to discuss. The task force plans to hold several more of these meetings to get all of the statistics together and figure out how much it would cost to implement some of these measures. Once they've done so, Senator Klein Peters says he plans to draft up a bill to bring before the legislature in the upcoming regular session. I'm told the next meeting will likely happen within the next five to six weeks. Guys, back to you. Chris.